maybe in the back, but while I have everybody's attention, um, I just want to say that if anybody is looking for a role in sales or hiring a role in sales, over at buildingthesalesmachine.com, we've got a job board up, and so I invite everybody to check that out. Anybody that's looking for sales hires or looking to get hired, uh, because we have all the content from events like tonight up there, it does get a lot of sales people checking it out, and so helpful for both sides of that equation. Yes, in the back. So what does the rest of the sales stack look like at Sales Loft outside of your own software? Um, so we just started using a company called EverString. Has anyone ever heard of EverString? Their predictive analytics help you decide which accounts to go after. Um, they're a big sales off customer. We started learning what they were doing and thought it was pretty neat. Um, so we use EverString for predictive account generation. So they're sending us accounts we should target. And then uh, obviously sales off to, to find people. Um, we, and, and then cadence to go after those people. We use a product called Lean Data that like normalizes CRM data and helps move things over to an account-based approach um, to attack these, these accounts and bring them in. We use a product called Terminus that does um, some like uh, account-based advertising stuff. We use, um, we use a product called 15.5 to do like team kind of pulse checkups and interviews. We use a product called Rivalry for one-on-ones, one-on-one um, -on -one management. We're just starting to use a product called uh, WorkGrade, WorkGrade.com. It's my buddy's company, and it's it's like a BetterWorks, um, but it's in Atlanta, and so we've been using this, and it helps us um, like put out our core values and identify our goals and like manage them and monitor them. We're really, 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 really aggressive on the cadence of our meeting structure. So I have uh, like every Wednesday I have a operations meeting, every Thursday I have a sales and marketing meeting, every Friday I have a finance meeting, every Sunday I send the weekend update, every month we have the company breakfast, it always has a format, every month we have a strategic, every quarter we have an offsite, and like all these things have like super like embedded process that we follow to keep on track with all the things we want to do. Um, so that's like mad Google spreadsheets on all that stuff. Um, but we're starting to move it over to some of this work rate stuff, which is pretty neat. Um, and then Salesforce, obviously. Uh, we use join.me for screen sharing stuff. Like that's been like the biggest headache of, of my existence. We haven't been able to find one that like always works. So I'm sure someone's gonna send me an email on that. Um, uh, what else, what else, what else? We do, do, we, do phone, we do phone, email, and social drips through Cadence, um, but the phone stuff's all backed by Twilio, so they're kind of the, the, like the engine of that. Um, I'm sure I'll think of like five more things after I get down here. But yeah, that's, that's a good kind of synopsis. Thank you so much for that answer and for your time tonight. The good news is we're gonna be hanging out after this, so everyone can get a chance to, uh, to meet each other, yeah. And I got one more thing. Um, Gary V, sales development leaders from around the world. We're hosting an event in Atlanta in March, March 7th, 8th, and 9th. Uh, NYC to Atlanta, like flights are really easy to get. Uh, they're all over the place. There's like one every like five minutes. Um, but we'd love to host anybody down. This is the top of the funnel sales, sales development, lead development, demand gen conference of the year. Um, we've got a big speaker that most of you probably know about, Gary Vaynerchuk's coming out. He's going to be our keynote, and we're going to have literally people that, like three people that run 100 plus sales development organizations are going to be there talking about their organizations and what, what they've done, the lessons they've learned. And like I said earlier, like those lessons are so much better than the ones I've learned because those people are like deep in the game. Um, so we'd love to host anybody here out there uh, for this event. It's March 7th, 8th and 9th. It's like come down late night on the 7th, party the night, all day the 8th leave after noon on the, on the 9th or something. And we did a, a so BTM30, BTM30 is, uh, we'll get you 30% off the ticket. And it's just rainmaker.salesoft.com. So we'd love to have anybody there. It's like really cool for the industry and uh, a lot of neat stuff's gonna happen. That sounds like an amazing event. Um, if you guys wanna hear more about that, you can go to buildingthesalesmachine.com. We'll make sure we put that, that code up there. Um, I wanna thank all of you for coming out tonight. 
Uh, we're going to be hanging out for a bit for more drinks, more food. I want to also thank our sponsors, uh, Scaled, Closer IQ, Harry, and Drizzly. Um, I also want to thank Yext for letting us use their space. Uh, and then finally, I want to thank Kyle for sharing uh, all of his thoughts, answering our questions, and, uh, and for coming out tonight. Thanks very much. <laughs>